There are over 85 recipes for the cube in Diablo 2, from crafting items to opening the secret cow level. In this video, I will give you an extensive guide to all the recipes I think will be useful to you. For all the veteran players, some of these tips and recipes will be very common to you. If you are new to Diablo 2, you will want to pay attention so you can learn how to use the cube. For starters, you can find the cube in Act 2 in the Halls of the Dead dungeon that is located in the Dry Hills. You can find it in a sparkling chest on level 3. The first thing I want to talk about is repairing armor and weapons. Some items cost a massive amount of gold to repair, such as rune words or items with spell charges. If you want to repair your weapon, all you will need is an ort rune. Combine it with your weapon and it will restore the durability. If you want to repair the charges on your weapon as well, all you need to do is add any chip gem. This is fairly common on items like the Puzzler Staff, since it gives the player charges to teleport. This is an alternative until the player can find Enigma, which is an extremely hard item to obtain. Repairing armor is similar. You will need a Rao Rune to combine with your armor to repair it. If you want to repair the charges on your armor, you will need a Flaw Gem along with the Ort Rune. Next is upgrading unique items. Depending on the level of the item, in three terms of Normal, Exceptional, and Elite, you can upgrade them to Elite. Unfortunately, you cannot upgrade set items in Diablo 2. For example, if we want to upgrade a normal Mage Fist Gloves to Elite Crusader Gauntlets, you will first use a Tau Rune, Shale Rune, and a Perfect Diamond to upgrade it to Exceptional. Then you will use a Lem Rune, Co Rune, and a Perfect Diamond, and this will upgrade the item to Elite. If your item's level is Exceptional, you will only need to use the second recipe. Shields give a variety of bonuses when upgraded, such as increasing the smite damage on the shield. Also, in some cases, increasing the block chance of certain shields. Upgrading weapons is done in a very similar way. Normal weapons usually aren't upgraded to elite. The only weapon that is worthwhile to upgrade from normal, in my opinion, is an ethereal bone snap. But I will show the recipes just in case. For example, if we want to upgrade a bone snap to exceptional, we will first use a Rao rune, soul rune, and a perfect emerald. Then to upgrade it to Elite, you will use a Lum Rune, Pull Rune, and a Perfect Emerald. Just like Armor, if your item's level is exceptional, you will only need to use the second recipe. Ebugging Armor When devs try to fix a bug in a video game, sometimes it creates a new bug. In this case, since 1.11, this upgrade technique was introduced. It is used to increase the defense on Aetheral Armor that will be used for a Rune Word. The item will also only be used for a mercenary since items do not lose their ability when they are equipped. The only exception is if you create a Prudence Rune Word that has a repair mod on it. If your character uses any ethereal weapons or armor that does not have a repair mod or indestructible mod, the item will then break and it will not be usable. The armor cannot be superior and it cannot be socketed for this to work. You will need a Tau Rune, Thol Rune, and a Perfect Topaz for the recipe. The sockets the armor will receive from this recipe vary from 1 to 4. If the armor only gets 1 sockets, it can be disregarded since there are no 1 socket rune words. Socketing ethereal weapons does not apply to this and gives no bonus. Socketing items. This is useful for players looking for armor or weapons with a specific amount of sockets, so they can then create the rune word that they want. The item cannot be superior and you cannot add sockets to an item that is already socketed. For example, if you would like to make a grief phase blade and you find a white phase blade, there's a chance the recipe will give the amount of sockets you want. If the number of sockets you want is the maximum number the item can give, you can use the first quest reward in Act 5 from Larzuk instead of this recipe. This works for all items that can have slots such as shields, weapons, armor, and helmets. You will want to be careful socketing items from normal difficulty since the item level may not be high enough to get the proper number of sockets. I would suggest you only socket items from Nightmare and Hell difficulty to avoid wasting your quest reward. To give you an example, if you want a 4 socket CV and you find a white CV, you can use the Larza quest and it will give the item 4 sockets, since that is the maximum number of sockets that item can give. Moving on with the recipe. Similar to before, the number of sockets will vary, and you may not get the number you want. To socket weapons, you will need a Rao, Am, and a Perfect Amethyst. To socket the armor, you will need a Tau Thol and a Perfect Topaz. Using this recipe on helmets is not necessary since you can use the Larza quest instead. 
removing the gems or runes from an item. This recipe is used if you want to replace the gems or runes that are in the item at the moment. Simply combine a hell rune, a scroll of town portal, and the item, and this will remove the gems or runes from it. Rerolling Grand Charms, also known as GCs, is a good way to obtain ones that add bonuses to certain class skills. First you will want to find one that is based around the level of the charm you want to find. Commonly players will use Grand Charms found in Hell difficulty from Bale, or level 85 areas such as the Chaos Sanctuary. This is to get the most possibilities from the charm to obtain one that gives the most stats. I personally have always found skill Grand Charms more often in Nightmare difficulty, since plain ones are only required level 42. Rerolling Grand Charms will put your spare perfect gems to good use. The type of stats on the Grand Charm you use in the recipe won't matter. It only matters where you found the charm. To use this recipe you will need any three perfect gems in the charm. Prismatic Amulet. This amulet recipe is a good hell difficulty starter to your character. Combine six perfect gems of each type excluding perfect skulls, and add any blue magic amulet. You will then receive a prismatic amulet that gives 16 to 20 resistances. Combining runes is a bit more complicated than it should be since each rune above Ort rune requires a different type of gem. This can be useful in some aspects by obtaining high runes since they are extremely hard to find. You can farm hell forges for goal runes by rushing other characters or players. For example, you could get an ohm rune if you had 4 goal runes, if you combine them into vex runes then into an ohm rune. This is if you also have the proper gems to go along with the recipe. Now I am going to cover my favorite crafting recipes. There is a wide variety of items you can craft in Diablo 2, and even to this day players can still craft items that are new to the player. One of the reasons why Diablo 2 is so special is because of the amount of possibilities you can get from doing things such as crafting. The recipes can give you an idea of what you can expect from the item, but the possibilities of the other stats are infinite and every crafted item is unique. Every crafting recipe requires a blue magic jewel and this is why players collect them. I will leave a link in the description below for all of the crafting recipes. There are over 36 different recipes that you can look at. The most popular is crafting caster amulets. This requires a blue magic amulet, rao rune, a perfect amethyst, and any blue jewel. The main aspect of this recipe is so that certain classes can reach their maximum casting speed. There are other uses for the cube as well, such as creating the secret cow level. You may have been living in a dungeon if you never heard of blizzard terms such as there is no cow level. This is talked about in almost all blizzard games. There are many other recipes that aren't as common by players and some you may have never heard of, such as combining a diamond gem, staff, chris dagger, and a belt to create a savage polearm, which will give 66-80% to enhanced damage. Upgrading rare items, magic items, magic resistance rings, and creating sockets to a rare item with a stone of Jordan are some of the recipes that are for the most part ignored. There's my extensive guide of the cube in Diablo 2. There are over 85 recipes including the crafting ones. I left a link in the description below if you would like to review all of them. Make sure you guys subscribe to keep up with my Diablo videos and hit the bell button to get notified when I upload them. I love you guys so much and I will see you on my next video.